Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome to another exciting propaganda cast with me, your host, Imperial Dane. After this is about the third take at this, so I'm going to be a bit brief on some parts. I'm not going to bother with the mid game analysis. I'm simply too tired, particularly after I'd stay up to clock four, four o'clock in the night just to get you that other cast after I messed up there. So, my apologies, but I'm quite not really energetic anymore. I'm not quite feeling like that. Also, I just want to sort of cut where a bits there are and of course in particular after trying this game for the third time because I'm yet constantly running into some sort of technical problem. So yeah this is not the best of days but let's keep going at it and of course right at it we are seeing all on border right here in the southern corner fighting for the Americans fighting for the 4th infantry division going up against the Sturm Battalion 7 or 7 under object 999 or well could be a bit of a pun there because 9 also means no in German yes indeed ha oh, ha ha Funny that, and of course he's in red, so of course 999 red air balloons or Luftballon. Anyways, we are seeing the barracks start, we are seeing the Wehrmacht quarter start, and both of them are about a rank 11, yes, no. Highly ranked plane, of course, for those wondering, well, why aren't there anything like that? Of course, well, if you're coincidentally high ranked, why not send in a replay of your own? I mean, it's not like it would hurt. And of course, other times, you know, again, just encourage others to send and of course it, it's not like I don't get some but troubles you know sometimes they can get a bit one-sided and that of course is not exi terribly exciting either we are seeing a bit of an interesting move right here he's sort of wiring off the beginning and of course he's doing something which you don't even see most veteran players do actually that's why off this area so the opponent can't sneak through here and then attack through there that's not an entirely bad idea <laughs> Of course, at the same time as you might have been casually noticing, it's though limiting rather his power to seize territory right from the beginning. So of course keep that in mind. And we are seeing a bit of sandbags going down here by the pioneers to sort of protect this area before it secures the fuel. That of course is a nice move. Very nice indeed. Although of course one can question how useful, but of course it still will protect. And of course he might want to remember, you know, laying down some barbed wire so the enemy can't use the same piece of cover. That for example is not a bad idea. We are seeing folks kind of standing about here, not pushing forwards, because it could be they're waiting for further comrades to arrive from the Wehrmacht quarters and then proceed to push on. Who knows? But currently those engineers in the east are a bit lonely and a bit of an easy target towards any nasty and vicious false engineers that might find their way. The false engineers sort of representing the low quality infantry class that sort of were in the Wehrmacht, this sort of when which was mostly sort of designed to sort of keep prepared well prepared positions of course attack in large numbers they weren't exactly you know panzer grenadiers and the Sturm Battalion which was a bit of an ad hoc formation combined out of a well a training unit and was thrown into the fight as again as an assault unit as the name sort of implies a short Sturm basically means assault or storm which again sort of assault attack Volskan is pulling away, not quite keen on facing off against those riflemen. Further, Volskan is moving in. He could, of course, quickly then turning around and then mount a counter attack. Or he could just stand around doing nothing. That's. Up, if that's what he wants to do, then I shall leave him to it. Although I might say 999. And we are seeing a bit of pioneers going towards here. So far, the Americans are swiftly securing the majority of the map. Not quite the same here by Object 999. We are seeing an MG42 coming out of the Verma Quarters. Three MG42 gunners moving forwards. And there you go, false gunners moving in and then moving away. MG42 moving in towards this house, which has a rather interesting position. It can cover this area, and of course, it can also cover this area, which of course, and this does have a bit of a nasty bit here of course since if an opponent moves in to cut this off and then takes over position here it can be very hard to get this point off and that's one of the reasons why a lot of access players in particular rather prefer not to go for here and when they're in the north they rather prefer here and sort of do their best to wire off this area which is a bit easier and there's not so much for your opponent to hang on to and there's of course the British in which case they tend to like to dig a trench there and trying to move in here for a cutoff, but sadly running into a lot of riflemen and engineers who are rather of the idea that should not be happening. No attempt at sandbags here, which could actually be of help. MG42 finds support and looks like the Wehrmacht forces will be forced to pull away. Riflemen standing ready to put a stop to that at the same time. Oh, so vicious. Oh, so sneaky. And running straight into the riflemen, standing about and standing still in front of them out in the open. Bad idea, object 999. False gun is moving in from the north, but this is really looking bad. And these pioneers also need to get away. Rücksug, Pioneer, Rücksug, oh! 
dear. Deal with it. No, they didn't get it out of there. That was tragic. Rifleman taking quite a beating though, might be forced to pull away as well. Further finding here, Falcon on the S facing off against Rifleman Engineers, and then forced to retreat. That was not good at all for those Falcon Grenadiers. And what we are seeing a Kampfkraft center up this early. I mean, this is a bit of a rarity, of course. This is also rather on the idea that apparently Object 999 is rather hoping to sort of push early and aggressive and perhaps do some damage at the same time. He's going for this strategic point. He might be hoping to cut off the American from all these points. And then sort of capture them later. That's certainly a viable idea. MG42 a bit. Realizing it's not quite useful hiding inside that building. Moving elsewhere. And grenades have been prepared for our American compadre. Ollen Border, which is a beetle. And also in the name of the royal lineage of Denmark, I believe. The royal house of Ollen I believe. That might be a bit wrong. But false grenades are moving in. Grenades moving in. Grenade. Well, they are going to be grenadiering with their grenades. But right rifle moving in. False grenades, and there we go, the grenade on the false grenades, and Enemy oh, unit. the inhumanity rifles and German false grenades everywhere. Targets. And looks like two pioneers managed to run off three engineers who did lay down on my apparently. And now MG42 setting up here, but false grenades moving in, rifleman now taking losses, no medic station or medic bunker. And the rifleman make it out there rather swiftly with a reasonable amount of men alive. Further up and pushing up, and there we go, cutting off these points, and of course note, strategic points are much swifter to sort of secure, and now we are seeing MP40, so we are seeing skirmish phase as well, and veteran T1 really pushing forward. And these rifle could end up in trouble, running straight into the MP40s. There we go, one man down, MG42 also setting up, oh dear, grenade on the MG42, but... And they were cut down in the brushes. That was less than good for those riflemen. Engineers forced away as well. Only one man on that MG42 though. False grenade securing the victory point. Pioneers moving in to secure the fuel point. Oh dear, oh dear. But again, I mean, Ram, the smooth move right here, cutting off the fuel and then beginning to secure it. Thus meaning that while he's taking it, the American commander won't be getting any fuel. Clever that, clever that, but securing the fuel point right there as well, again, trying to starve the American off fuel and of course give him the advantage again when it comes to sort of pushing with infantry. He's trying to really secure some infantry domination with his forces by simply ensuring the American can't get any vehicles, apparently. Of course he does have grenades and he's going to need some more riflemen and scope move there replacing them, but really not a good. Start for the American now. Rifleman charging at the false grenades with the MP40. Will they stop trying to take the point? One man down. Grenade getting up. MG42 opening up. Oh dear. False grenades getting out of there. MG42 opening up on the riflemen. Suppressing them. There we go. And one false grenade down again. Leaning behind only two men with their MP40s. And then they're moving away again. That was quick. And we are seeing false grenades moving in further forces. Apparently he's training more false grenades. And he's gone airborne. All in board has gone airborne. He's calling in the 82nd airborne, apparently. And yes, indeed, he's doing something very sneaky here. He's calling in right between these two awfully, awfully low strength units. Dropping in with the airborne with the M1 carbines. This could turn out to be a problem. MG42 turning and false gun is with MP4 is opening up, but this. Please lend up badly. MG42 opening up. Airborne going down, but they clear out the MG42 gunner. And the false grenades need to pull away as well. Only one man left, his comrade lying behind sides him. Shot in the gut and no, he's forced to run lean behind his comrade. But the Americans have taken such losses, they can't recruit the MG42 left behind. Oh dear. Americans are pushing onwards. In the meanwhile, yes. False grenades moving in, fresh with MP40s as well. Apparently, Object 999 likes his MP40s. False guys moving in after the airborne, hoping to show those airborne who's the boss and who's the real soldaten. Airborne taking quite a few losses. The MP40s just keep shooting away. Engineers moving in with flamethrowers. How shall this work out? I'm actually starting to get a bit of disoriented with all those weird angles, and I I'm won't be surprised if you are too. So my apologies. Further false guys moving in. False guys with MP40s pulling up. The Sturm Battalion so far doing all right. And certainly there were quite a few ad hoc formations or at least training units which were thrown into something else. There was also the 100th Panzer Training and Reserve Battalion, it was a regiment, filled with old French and German tanks for example. 
plus the resources some um, there for units and all that but quite a few and of course other units which were basically thrown into other divisions as things passed on and again those false guys could also represent that particularly with those green uniforms which I do believe are actually part of the order police or the Ordnungspolizei which was a big security unit that served under them it served also to sort of keep things clear it's only one possibility we are seeing a bit of fighting here. Volkskrank is handing down some engineers. That was less good for Olenbor, who's now pushing onwards with his riflemen. Fresh with grenades, could be lobbing over the hedges again. Remember, grenades can go over and parabolic arcs over hedges, over stuff like that. And there we go. Grenade. Oh, and hitting our mine as well. Oh dear, lots of pinned down troops and the American lead the charge. Absolutely amazing. Further moving in. False gunner is moving forwards right into the rifleman. Oh dear, this could be dangerous. And he certainly should be flanking much quicker with those MP40 equipped false guns, but it's too late. Oh dear, heavy losses. Three down. The MP40 is moving in, but they are too late now. The full wrath of the American forces shall be bearing down upon them. And down here, we also see some false guns getting attacked by riflemen. Oh dear, getting a grenade lobbed at them. Oh dear, false gunner team is down for all and bore. He's taking quite some losses. The Sturm Battalion, though, storming on. Phew. Actually, it's time to go have a look at Object 999, and apparently we are seeing something coming out of that motor pool soon. Probably an armored car would not surprise me. And of course, on and board, I mean, Object 999 is a bit unprepared for that. In fact, he's getting veterans he too for his infantry. <laughs> yes, and he's just handing out MP40s for everyone. <laughs> Hiccup. Absolutely amazing. <coughs> certainly a bit rare to see that many Wehrmacht troops with submachine guns. It was certainly not something the Wehrmacht really practiced. It was only about the time of the Athens, and that was mostly because the Volksgrenades were actually supposed to have the Sturmgewehr, but could get it, they would get MP40s instead. But otherwise, the only real practitioner of handing out submachine guns to the troops in mass were in fact the Soviets, partly for their Sturmobi battalions, or whatever they'd call them. Basically assault units, also equipped limbs, but this again supposed fits into that sort of idea. Moving forwards, lots of MP40s and a swift tide of false grenadier doom. Sweeping everything with automatic fire. There we go, M8 bashing forwards, the Greyhound leaping through the barbed wire. Its tires not caring about its bite. And Fulskan is getting caught out in the open. He could, of course, get off a few pants of our shot, but that's not really going to help much. And they apparently... And he's he doing something interesting. He's not really being scared by the, M the M8. He's not really going into complete terror. Instead, he's moving in. He's sweating. He's opening up on the M8 with the MP4s. And even, he's even damaging it slightly. Some shots are actually getting through the armor and doing a bit of damage. Oh, dear. And there we go. Dual Panzerfaust in the rear. Damaged engine. This M8 is... Would be in more trouble if he had munitions for the third one. Instead, and he's getting a grenadier team again. He probably shouldn't. I mean, despite all the fuel, he probably ought to be expanding perhaps on his opponent, no matter what, going for an M8 if he doesn't see BARs. Engineers for flame first moving in. Fulskan is pulling away. Veteran C2 for Fulskan. And this gives 25% suppression resistance, 5% damage resistance, and also some increased line of sight. Rifle sneaking through there. Some awfully wounded, though. Olin Boren needs a trier center. Airborne going up against the Grenadiers. Slightly more veteran troops, I suppose it could be considered the instructors or whatever. And another grenade over. Oh dear, more false Grenadiers going down. False Grenadiers have seen to get hurting. And the rifle. Oh, charging right into false Grenadiers with automatic weapons. This is just a massacre. A firing squad executing the Americans for the offense of treading upon German property. And continued fighting over here, Grenadiers, and f Airborne still fighting it out. Grenades getting locked at the Airborne. One down, and now Rifleman are moving in to assist. Volkskan is not pushing on here in the east. Bit unfortunate, M8 and Dying Eater repairs. Grenadiers getting grenaded by the Airborne, but they do force it away. Pack 38 ready, but there's no nothing you can really help with at the moment. The Volkskan is just standing about. Come on, Object 999, how about get them moving? Vorwärts, Männer, vorwärts. Ihr sind eine Sturmbataillon, nicht eine Festungbataillon.
And oh dear, my cursor decided to mess up as well. I'm Everything is just going great for me today. Anyways, false gun is pushing in against the rifleman. Lots of automatic fire. Of course, getting into the house is a, a way to sort of negate a lot of the damage and its submachine gun can actually do because a pulse actually provides 50% accuracy protection and of course also damage resistance. So I mean, and submachine guns don't really do an awful lot of damage to troops inside buildings. More Grenadiers getting ready. Pack 38 is heading towards the east. Facing off against here and they don't even bother laying down some sandbags. I mean that could actually help them in this case I suppose but no such luck. And they've spotted the Greyhound. Oh dear the Greyhound did not move to safety. Oh all in board. Your doggy is dead. More automatic fire being fired at the right and one false kind of goes down. The others just keep firing and dying apparently. Of course not against that machine guns rather need to be up close before doing much damage but still Charging ahead, lots of MP45 blazing. Grenades on the false guns in there. Oh dear! All we need now BARs for the rifle, and this will be a complete disaster. False guns pushing onwards though, and so far no BARs. Flamethrowers opening up. And the false guns need to be careful, need to be careful. They're taking heavy losses, some of them are already awfully low in health. More grenades! Oh, heavy, and there we go with the BARs. Oh my goodness, one team got absolutely. Slaughter in there among broken boxes and all the American wounded. We are seeing the false grenadiers screaming and writhing in pain. That was absolutely horrific. Quite nicely timed there, although probably he wasn't sort of figuring, oh well, I'll just get the BAR right there that exact second. But it certainly was nice. It certainly also sort of encouraged Object 999 to actually get pretty damn close, and then all of a sudden he was standing right in front, oh bother, automatics. And then he lost the false grenadiers again. So that's a third team down, no, second team down. He does have three teams of false guns left, and he does have the ever stalwart Grenadier. But Ollenborg is holding most of the victory points at the moment, though he could do with some mines to protect these areas. And we are from in the airborne hunting in for the Grenadiers. Will there be grenades? And we are seeing a terror doctrine choice here, and of course, remember. After three command points, it actually goes slower, so you might as well spend them if you can. No point in saving up to sort of again, sort of rush for something because I mean your opponent can't even see how many you have. So there's no point in sort of trying to hide it. What you're going for? Right from the airborne facing off. Oh dear, these rifles need to get away. The grenade is doing quite a bit of damage now. We go with false guns moving in. Right, other oh, rifles they're moving in. Will there be grenades? Yes, there we go. Grenade getting locked at the false grenades there, and right from retreating. No, the grenades. One false grenade down, the MP40 is blasting away, slaughtering the riflemen, turning through them. And the airborne are forced away as well. That did not go very well for our American friend Ollenborg. We actually believe he might be Norwegian or Swedish. And Pioneers coming under fire right here, some very low health riflemen. Be careful with that Ollenborg, you already lost one team completely like that. False guns coming in with the MP40s ablazing. Swiftly moving onwards with the Sturm Battalion. All a bit quiet there. And we are finally seeing a tree has ended up falling, boy. And we are seeing a supply and upgrade. All he needs now is a medic station. And of course, the same could be applied to Mr. Object 999. I mean, if you have five infantry teams, you pretty much better be off getting some bloody well medic bunkers to sort of help out with all that because you're going to be generating a lot of losses and of course if you don't have that you're going to be suffering from very high attrition in the long run so keep that in yeah, mind it can save your ass and of course also don't get your troops killed now I'm getting panzer tricks but no lmg 42 that might actually be a better case there's not really a lot of armored assets after that one m8 went down looks like on board has been scared off Completely. And we are seeing an observation post for Olin Boy. He's going to have to quickly react to that attempt. The weapon support center also going up. Further rifle moving towards the east. False guy is trying to clear up that observation post with their mighty MP40s. I can't help but find it is a bit excessive with all those MP40s. I mean, they are close range weapons. You know, a mix of rifles and submachine guns would be better. There we go, Ripen and Fox guys trying to hold the line, but they're forced away. And we are seeing veterancy free. He's gone veterancy free. He isn't pushing for any sort of armor advantage. There we go. We are seeing a skirmish phase on the way, but 
But, you know, still it might, you know, be an idea to just wait a bit with that veteran C3. Of course, it does give, I believe, it was around 20% health bonus for all infantry. So that's a pretty good deal. And now he's going for an observation post of his own. Of course, now he could get an LMG-42 for his grenadiers. To help a bit with the firepower. Rather than taking a bit of losses. Getting blasted to bits by Panzer Shrex. Pack 38 hiding here, ever waiting, ever waiting. Nothing really arriving. Rifle is forced away, and of course, if it had been equipped with high explosive shields, this was actually in the, the actual war. It probably could have helped a bit with infantry, but there you go. Volksgrenier is moving about. Veterans C3 again. A very tough Volksgrenier. Yes, this is a real true Sturm Volksgrenadier. Charging right at the riflemen. But of course, you don't charge at weapon automatic weapons like that. Certainly not the BAR. That's only going to end up going to end up in a very painful manner. Lots of command points, he's still not using him. We're not really seeing any mines from him either. He's floating quite a bit of munitions, which could be used on elsewhere. We are seeing airborne dropping in, Veterans G1. Some Veterans G1 right from there, and probably some Veterans G2 over here. If I could find them. Yes, there we go. And a sniper is moving about. Volkskan is charging four vets. Getting sniped. That was a little stacious start for that one. And going straight for the sniper, of course. Good move, move. And of course, Olinborg quick to react. Gets his sniper to safety rather than getting him killed. And now he's right now getting surrounded. He really needs to get careful. Be careful. Lobbing a grenade, of course. Be oh dear, just get out of there. Quickly before the MP40s turn them into mush. And we are seeing Rifleman Grenadiers engaging right here in the east. Veteran C1 versus Veteran C3. BARs versus Car 98K. Possibly some grenades. There we go. Grenade on the Grenadiers. There we go. Grenadier down. The other one also down. Oh dear. Two down. Rest retreating. Leaving four Rifleman versus three Grenadiers. One with a Panzer Shrek. Further finding here. Oh dear. The full Grenadiers were forced away by counterattack by Airborne and Rifleman. Oh dear. Oh dear. Objects 999 must really be going 999. And there we go, right from force way by the swift interception by the Grenadiers and their Panzer Shrek. Jolly good move there, Grenadier. You'll be heroes of the fatherland for that. Or well, at least you'll be safe when Object 999 might get in trouble. And let's return to Ollenborg. Moving in with a sniper, his engineers rather than getting reinforced. And we are seeing a Panzer Command. Apparently, Object 999 has gotten axe com hold of the second Panzer Division, which has promised to provide some armored assets. Folks, guys, charging forts on there, and you know, don't send in troops piecemeal. That generally only serves your opponent to basically grind down your troops. And of course, in this case, the Folks, guys, aren't really doing too well. Of course, they aren't getting killed. But oh dear, never mind. They just got one killed. Oh dear. But false grenadiers moving forwards. Grenadiers also moving in. Through the east. More grenadiers. And it looks like some rifle moving in to put a stop to that. To ensure that France stays liberated from the crowds. And there we go, grenadiers coming on the far right and charging forwards. Those are the veterans here too. Most accurate and lethal are they. Grenadiers need to get out of there. More grenadiers moving in. And interesting enough, he's actually been holding this for quite some time, but he's still yet to recruit that MG42 left behind. Oh, Object 999. And oh, Olin Scram is going on here. False grenades. MP40s are blazing. Rifemen going down. Grenades getting lopped. Oh, heavy losses. People getting thrown here and there. Sniper retreating rather, realizing he might be in trouble. That is a good move again there. You know, be careful with your snipers. They are going to be a priority target. False grenades charging on with the remainders of the Sturm Gruppe right there. Blazing forward, shooting wherever they can. One down and in a full retreat all of a sudden. Grenadiers facing off against Rifleman, moving in. And these Grenadiers might want to consider getting out of the soon. Blowing one Rifleman to bits. Panzer Command is up and probably already flashing with sparks as a Panzer is getting prepared for the field. An airdrop resources now. And airborne Sunny finding themselves under Grenadier and full Grenadier fire. Oh dear, oh dear, and breaking through here in the east as well. Things are quickly escalating and things are slowly turning towards Olympus' advantage. Dropping in with an F. Why did you train a heavy machine gun when you called in a supply drop? You could just use the heavy machine gun from that. 
Oh, for heaven's sake, Olin Vor. I mean, that's one of the advantages, you know, you can get pretty cheap heavy machine guns and mortars. Oh. Try to remember that in the future, my good sir. And hitting a mine. That blew up a few in the faces. Right from sneaking about here in the east. And there we go. Panzerkampfwagen 4 already veterans who won. This is good. Anti tank on dropping. Apparently the pack for it actually got off a few good shots on that. Doing quite a bit of damage already down to half health. That's actually a bit rare, but apparently doing airdrop the pack for it gets incredibly accurate up against targets. German and the Panzer 4 just skirts about there. No sticky bombs. Oh, the oh, flaps. No, not now. There we go. Now getting a sticky bombs, but the. And again, you know, dropping in anti-tank guns, you know, drop it behind your infantry, not in front of it. It's it's a weapon that's there to support you. So remember, it needs something to shield it. In that case, it clearly didn't. Instead, he got it blown up in a most un unceremonial manner. So, of course, I hope you learn from that. And the Panzer IV advances. Come on, support your Panzer. Come on. Infantry support, mate. Airborne in there, and I'll bet you they're getting recalled as well. Yes, indeed. Panzer IV opening up on the rifle and blasting away with a 75mm velocity cannon. High, reasonably high, I suppose. Not as high as the Panzer, of course, but there you go. And rifle assembly dying, getting shot to bits by high explosive shells. And sticky bombs are ready. Oh dear, the Panzer IV just there without infantry support again. Oh dear, now it's getting sticky bombed. Numerous sticky bombs, and the airborne are ready with it. Oh dear, absolutely terrible timing for object 99. Oh, come on. Hands of all blasts away and goes out of control. Oh, the end of the force gun is also dying. This is looking terrible. The loss of a Panzer for one. He's breaking through with another in the west, Enemy clearing out the hair machine and forcing away the sniper. This is. And there we go, I hope. Well, that was a pretty huge blow, but the Panzer IV continues without infantry support again. Oh, dear, Olin. Object 999, what are you doing? You're making me go 999, you absolute dumb cop. And now dropping in an anti-tank on there, and he's moving straight into the base again without support and getting right within sticky bomb range, right in front of an anti-tank gun. Oh, in the inhumanity and the waste of a good Panzer IV. I mean, what did that Panzer IV ever do to you, Object? Apparently he was doing that to call in a V-Von rocket, as you might be hearing. And there we go, V-1 flying in. The Vengeance weapon delivering. Vengeance clearing up the supply at the Trio Center and the home machine gun and killing up some others, but that's not really good. And currently he's lagging a bit. And... Oh, hang on. I'm back. And what is he making? Enemy unit Possibly down. more Panzers. That would be good, but also more infantry, I suppose. Perhaps some knights cross holders, you know. Could help him. A lot. Oh, come. No idea why it keeps accidentally starting the k replay again. And oh, for heaven's sake. And hopefully that would should stay stable for the last few minutes. Otherwise I'm going to be getting angry. Oh dear, it's already getting bloody hot in here. And there we go, Ostwin Flakpanzer ready. And for some reason this is clearly not a clever Hans. This is Stumkopf Hans. Finding a way with his pretty Luger at the enemy. Without rather realizing there's no one to support him. Oh, Stumkopf Hans. You are really are a dumb cop. And now we have seen grenades moving out through the minefield that has been established there. Two men down and... Nothing there. Apparently. Heading another mine in the process. Absolutely magical. Ospin moving in and again moving in too close to the infantry. Be careful, damn you. LMG for the grenadiers opening up on the rifleman. Amazing. He's finally gotten one. Opening up and then firing at the unit too far away to actually hit. That's less than good. Grenades getting lot. Grenades taking heavy losses. Ostwin. Oh dear, knocked out by the anti tank gun. Grenadiers cleared out. I have
have no idea why it keeps doing that. My apologies, it just seems to be fraps because I can't seem to find anything else that could actually be draining in the background. Oh well. False guys moving forwards and oh a straight finger on ruining the last attempt right there. And this is looking pretty bad, and what does he do? He's not training anything from the Panzer Command. If he's training more false guy I'm going to get a bit upset. Bloody well hell he is. He's not training Knights Cross Soldiers, which Veteran C3 would be much better than Veteran C3 False Guy isn't. Yet apparently he's doing it. That's that doesn't make any sense. Quite frankly, it doesn't. Because he could be using that munition for something else than MP40s by now. Now Flaps just seems intent on taunting me at this stage. Having otherwise been playing so well. This is quite frankly getting tiring. But only a few minutes to go. Come on. Pioneer's forced away. Come on, Fraps. Work your way up. There we go. False Granny is moving forwards. Flaps not. And there we go. Stable for now. And more False Granny again. He's not making anything. He's not making further Panzer Force. He's not making Knights Cross Holders, which could turn the tide. He's just. Pressing out false grenades, that just missing, doesn't make any sense at this stage. And again, of course, that might be some, of course, might be going, oh, this should be a novice Monday fight. Well, I didn't get it there now, did I? And again, rather didn't have anything else to really cast as such. At some games, would you rather feel are much too one sided? Sniper opening up, getting veterans one in the process. LMG on these grenades as well. But trying to take a point in the middle of a fight. Firestorm moving in. And he's getting his own troops hit by the Firestorm, not the enemies. That's We're losing territory. not very good at all. And returning. And Fraps dropping again. Firestorm had just updated, even it still doesn't work any better. Right from moving in against the Fox kind of ears. Small duel here, Falskan is forced away right from getting veterans in two. This is pretty much looking to be the end of the Storm Battalion 7. Rifleman, veterans in three. More Falskan is moving in, still not a single Knight's Cross holder. Just more Falskan is not even a Panzer 4. Close is moving forwards. Oh dear, oh dear. Getting sniped, getting shot. Getting more false grenadiers. I cannot believe this. This is certainly a bit of a good lesson in what not to do by the end game when you have the Panzer Command. Forward supply lines are broken. Clearly something went astray in his mind. Let's just speed this last bit up. And there we go. Game over finally. Hope. You enjoyed it. If you did, why not subscribe and tell your friends? And if you didn't, well, why not send in a replay of your own? And of course, what can we learn from this match? Well, of course, don't throw away troops. Ensure to get medic station and medic bunkers. When you have a Panzer Command and you have veterans with free infantry, don't get false grenades. Get Knights Cross holders, for example. You know, a few could have helped. Don't send in Panzers without support. V1s are nice, but you know, still. And otherwise, you know, good usage of barbed wire and mines and not much in there. And of course, recruit your MG42. But there we go. Cheers.